So look, I travel a lot, and for me, finding the perfect headphones or earphones that have noise cancellation is extremely important. And I really try to love the AirPods Max for traveling. But as you saw on my traveler's perspective of the AirPods Max, that wasn't the case. There was certain things that just didn't make me love them for traveling. They're great for everything else, but for traveling, they're just not the ideal headphones. You know, I tried out the Sony, you know, XM5s, which are great, but I really wanted to start traveling with the AirPods Pro. So I've been traveling with the AirPods Pro second generation more specifically since its launch. And I've got some thoughts. How's it like traveling with the AirPods Pro? Well, let's first talk about traveling, about comfort, about actually carrying them around. And that's what I like about them so much is that they're so small that they fit right on your backpack. They fit right into your jeans. So they're really easy to carry around. And what's cool about the case itself is that they're actually inside the Find My network, which means is that the AirPods Pro second generation now basically acts like an AirTag, which means if you lose them, in the airport, for example, or in the airplane, you'll be able to locate them around. You can even play a sound on them now since they've now got speakers and you've even got a light in the outside. So if you lose your AirPods around the airport or even in the airplane, you should be able to find them. Something that I do kind of have to complain about the AirPods in general is be careful because it really sucks if your AirPods Max fall on the ground of the airplane it's fine, you just grab them, but it's really different. You know, it's happened to me a couple of times that, you know, maybe I'm, I'm wearing my hoodie and maybe I just, you know, get rid of the AirPods Pro and they just fall on the ground. It's not something you wanna go through because they're so tiny that actually, you know, digging through your airplane seat, you know, it's, it's not a thing you wanna go through. You can also add a lanyard right onto your AirPods Pro so you can literally put them right into your backpack, which is pretty cool. So in terms of sound quality and noise cancellation, they truly are something else. It's so incredible how small the AirPods Pro are and how good they are with sound quality and noise cancellation. Especially now with the AirPods Pro 2 and their improvements with spatial audio, you're truly surrounded by music and you don't hear anything. Here's what I can tell you about noise cancellation. Um, if you don't have any music on you, you do hear the engine, but you obviously you know, don't hear it as loud, but you do hear, it. obviously it's super loud. Maybe in future generations we'll have, you know, AirPods 5, AirPods Pro 5, that we will not hear anything, but for now, um, you do hear a little bit, but as soon as you play some music, you seriously don't hear anything and you're surrounded by music. And that's what I like about the AirPods Pro so much is that if you've got like standard AirPods, you really have to put the music really loud for you not to hear the engine or the baby crying in the back of your seat. With the AirPods Pro, you can literally put the music to 50%. You can literally put sleeping music on at 50% at pretty low volume and you won't hear the engine at all. Or once again, that baby crying in the back. So noise cancellation truly is amazing, but transparency mode is so useful when you're in the airplane because let's say the flight attendant is there to bring you your food. Usually with other pair of headphones, you would have to take them out, right? But with the AirPods Pro, you just have to press the stem and transparency mode will go on and you'll be able to hear the flight attendant perfectly fine without needing to take them off your ear. Something that I would really like to see in future generations is for you, if you wanna just activate transparency mode for just a second and then you know get back to your music, something really cool that the Sony XM5s actually do is simply cover your ear in order to actually listen to what's around you. Just imagine, you know, the flight attendant is there. Now you have to press, transparency mode will go on, you listen to the person, but then if you wanna go back, you have to press again, you know, and the music will go on. Just imagine the flight attendant comes, you're just like this. Yeah, 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 I want some water, thank you. And then boom, you're zoned down again. 
So these last two years, we've traveled like crazy. We've gone to the Maldives, Dubai, Turkey, California, Las Vegas, Thailand, Vietnam, Morocco, Hawaii, and now our recent adventure in California. For me, staying connected is extremely important for safety and obviously for work. I always get so happy that when a brand that I actually use daily wants to sponsor the video, and that's the case for today's sponsor, which is Iralo. Iralo provides instant and affordable connectivity through eSIMs over 200 countries and regions all over the world. It's what I always use when traveling to get data because instead of calling your carrier and make them overcharge you for an expensive roaming plan or finding local SIM cards and random airports that maybe you don't even know the language that they speak and installing your eSIM is so easy to do. Let me show you. All right, here's how you do it. You simply go to the app store, search up Iralo, you open up, you select the country that you actually want to have data. So let's tap on United States, which is where I currently am. And here you've got all of your data plans. So depending on which one you want. For the sake of this video, let's go ahead and pick up the one gigabyte version. And then you simply pay now. You can choose Apple Pay if you want to charge that. Let me pay. I've now paid. So you simply go to eSIM details and then go ahead and actually tap install eSIM. Tap install eSIM. Go ahead and tap next. And then there you go. So if you guys are interested in Iralo, links in the description. If you travel a lot, Iralo is honestly a must have. Here's another tip that I can give you is make sure to add the right tip. Get it? Tip? Tip? No? Not funny? No, but seriously, make sure to add the right tip size inside of your AirPods Pro box whenever you buy it. You get like three different sizes. Make sure to have the right one on because for traveling specifically, especially if you're doing long periods, long travels, you know, you really want to make sure you have the right size of your AirPod on your ear. Also having the right ear tip size will make your AirPod not fall out of your ear when you're traveling, which is extremely important. Here's a little test for you to see. See, I literally, they don't fall. If you have the right size on, they will seriously not fall. Something else that I love specifically about the AirPods Pro second gen is that you can change the volume directly from the stem. I don't know why Apple took this long to do it. I was asking for it years ago and it's finally here. I'm a happy person right now. It's seriously crazy how there's six hours of battery life inside of this tiny guy and then 30 hours with the actual case. Six hours might not be enough for most international flights. So my conclusion with the AirPods Max is that they weren't really good headphones for traveling. And that's mainly because don't forget, this is the first generation of a product, right? The AirPods Pro, on the other hand, they're literally on their fifth generation. If we count the AirPods, AirPods 1, 2, 3, Pro, Pro 2, they're on to the fifth generation. And you can really notice that because do I recommend the AirPods Pro for traveling? I mean, you could probably tell by this video. I didn't even mention weaknesses. I mentioned things that could be improved, but they're not really weaknesses. So if you're thinking about getting the AirPods Pro for traveling, comfort is exceptional, super comfortable, sound quality, exceptional, noise cancellation, incredible, battery life that will last you pretty much the whole entire trip. There are small, so you can lose them, but you've also got Find My. So yes, I do recommend the AirPods Pro for traveling. Thank you for watching. Now, if you haven't watched my AirPods Max Traveler's Perspective. Oh, oh, say less. Yeah. I'm back in that bag again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, say less. Yeah. I'm back in that. Yeah. What you doing? Yeah, yeah. I'm back in that. Hey, where you 